Okay, guys, this is the current hair situation. <laughs> what has happened? Yeah, I just literally haven't done anything with it today. Um, so it's got a little kink to it. Um, which I'm not feeling. So today, because my hair is growing out quite a bit and I'm struggling to get as much body in it, and at the same time, I don't want to put more body in it and make it look too much like a Lego person, I thought I'm going to try something different. So bear with me. We're going to trust the process. We're going to work this thing together and we're going to have a go at a PC choppy pixie cut look it's very different for me you know I like my hair precise I like it voluminous and we're gonna do the opposite really we're gonna go quite sleek quite choppy like you're gonna be able to touch it and move it I'm gonna see how it goes so I've got my GHDs warming up there I've got my little crocodile clip you need one of these. If you don't know about these, get to know. I literally couldn't live without it. Just a couple of hairbrushes and tools, but I'll talk you through that. So let's get going. First things first, we're gonna part, part this up. So side part, as you guys know, always have a side part. What is this? This is what I wake up with on a daily basis so I had a, like a bath last night washed my hair dried it but didn't put anything in it so now it's getting a bit longer I am able to do that which is the, the only pro about lockdown hair the fact it's growing longer and I don't have to always shower in the morning and wash my hair I have showered this morning but I've not washed my hair so I've got a real kink going on basically at the moment and I'm going to have to go through most of the ooh, most of the layers so I'm getting like down down into this this real short layer and we're going to literally just smooth it out because I'm literally just going to straighten the whole thing and then show you how I create pixie pixie the PC pixie what is this so I've got a new product in my hair apart from obviously the, uh, I think I used oil in it just to dry it. So I'm just go around my ears, getting all the uh, texture out. And around the back, I'm just doing it with my fingers. You can see on this side as well, it's the same. So just really smoothing, smoothing it down. I hope I like this, you know, guys. I mean, luckily, we can play around with our hair a little bit more now it's in, now we're in lockdown. Like, I am finding that I don't care as much <laughs> about how it looks, which is nice. Oh. Oh, but this back. Is anyone else finding? What is this? And this. Oh, I can't wait for my hairdressers to be open. Okay. So as always, I'm sort of like round brushing it with my straighteners. You can see, still see, I've really got that asymmetric length going on. This was up here. And it's literally grown at about two inches. I'm not even joking. Um, so 
because of that I do still want to keep that asymmetric look um but I'm obviously just gonna try oh <laughs> just found a clip in my hair the good thing about sleeping on it actually and getting all these kinks is it has just naturally got a little bit more body and lift at the root so I mean I can't say I would just do it on a daily because I'm a perfectionist as you guys know um I like to have like full control of my hair in the morning but I hate all the hair just making sure it's nice and sleek but it's not going to stay so sleek this is just the first step okay just keep sectioning it off combing it off. Now, my fringe is going back a little bit. I'm not going to touch that. I'm just going to brush it forward like this. I'm literally going to have to ban myself from hairspray in this look. It's like here on my desk, and I've just sort of put it over there. Oh, see. I've naturally just done what I always do. <laughs> so we're going to take that section again and just straighten it. Okay, around the edges, but oh, that's kind of gone a bit funny now. Mm -hmm. oh. Right. Okay, there we go. I think we fixed it. Oh, it feels really, really hard, like cardboard. I wonder if I left some conditioner in that. Hmm. Okay. And then... Okay. So... It's just gonna judge it a little bit and then we're gonna go in with a few products it doesn't it look so much longer I'm actually just gonna now I can see it all down I am gonna run the straighteners just through that front edge just any little pieces that I feel need to be kind of smoother So, I've got the Dry Texturizing Spray by VO5. They've got to be powerful. I don't know if I'm going to use this yet. And they've got to be made for mess putty. If you know about this. You've been watching most of my videos. I use it in all of them. So, just spraying it at the root. And then... it with your fingers and then this is where this is gonna the putty is gonna come in because I really want to bring my fringe more forward Ooh, like that and I'm actually gonna get my back combing brush for this because it naturally won't want to sit there so, tease that a little bit. We'll have to, we'll have to get the hairspray on that bit. So, I've got my putty on my fingers. And just start with the fringe. So, 
So create that. Texture. And I'm literally getting quite a bit of this putty and just piecing it, just running it through my hair. Through those layers, through that front section, like this. That fringe is not going to want to stay, but get some spray on it. And we're literally keeping it dead, dead messy. The back. <laughs> what is this bit doing? Right. We might think this Okay, so this is how it's looking, just very sort of straight, sleek, quite choppy. I've pulled my fringe forward and created more of a side part. Again, so it looks a little bit more styled around this area. And I've pulled my layers, like my fringe, down here. Because that way it's creating again more of a styled appearance. Now I'm going to go in with my Made For Mess hairspray and just fast all around but really blast my fringe. Okay. So there we have it guys, a bit more of a sleek, choppy, PC look. You can see I've really made the most of my longer layers with this one. Swept my fringe forward and I'm really pleased with it. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, tag me in any recreations you do on Instagram, it's philippa.catherine and leave a comment below if you like this. Give it a thumbs up and pop that notification bell on so you never miss a video. I love you guys so much and I will be back soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching! Bye.